This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Scott Steiner was pushed pretty heavily in the run to hard justice, but he's not on the TVs here. Was Scott or Scotty short on dates here in this contract? Was he hurt? Do you remember? It must be maybe a, a little bit of an injury, but maybe not. Uh, contract dates, or we didn't have him booked on the no surrender, no surrender pay per view. Don't come into, don't come to Orlando. Back to your point. Let's focus as many seconds as we can toward no surrender. So you're in a ratings battle. It's reported in the torch that TNA is asking for a two hour time slot. You're still under a one rating with the ultimate fighter as your lead in, but there was pushback from spike saying, quote, if we give you the ultimate fighter as a lead in, and you can't get over a one, why are we going to give you two hours in prime time? The torch also said, quote, Jeff Jarrett and sting continue to be the top pushed acts in the company. And the main events not featuring Jarrett and sting end up not getting promoted on TV as prominently. So we'll take those one at a time. Did you remember ever having a conversation and remember this is not Dave Meltzer this time it's Wade Keller. So when you launch into your horse shit, I just want you to be able to aim it. In the oh, right so now it's horse poop. Yeah. Oh. A little bit. Okay. Do you remember them being hesitant to give you two hours, given that you couldn't beat a one with the ultimate fighter as a lead in? Never. Okay. Never. It, no, it's, it's, it's so preposterous, but again, they got to sell newsletters. It's, it's, it's good meat on the bone. And this may be a setup for, uh, cause it's not long after this, uh, that we rolled around and went to two hours, but I'll, I'll pump the brakes for right now, but no, never a discussion. They were until 2012 ish. I never heard anything, but you know, may, maybe, oh man, we were hoping for that quarter hour to do a little bit and that, but we did the analyst. They were, they weren't just happy. They were elated because you have to remember where we started. Saturday nights off prime. Let's give these guys a shot. So then let's talk about the other thing. The accusation here from Wade that if it's not sting or Jarrett in the main event, it doesn't get promoted as prominently. How would you respond to that criticism? Um, when I play the role of top talent founder, executive producer, head of creative, I'm going to get criticized regardless. And truth be known, and you can look at the history, uh, and I think you're learning it a little bit, a show at a time. It's 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 just total fabrication. Uh, people hated me on TV, but as a creative, um, look, what did I bat a thousand? No, but guys go in the Hall of Fame batting a third. So I'm not saying I'm a, a home run hitter or or a single hitter. The the fact is, we promoted guys. Um, Often, and I mean, Christian, uh, I mean, they, we could go on and on, but no, I don't, I don't agree, uh, with Wade's assessment. It's going to be fun to pick up where we left off, but today we're doing something just a little different. We're going to be talking about no surrender. Oh, six. So we're going to get in our way back machine and go back 15 years. We're coming off of hard justice. So six, be sure to check that out in the archives, the story behind the story of how the arena filled with smoke in the middle of a pay-per-view and we're having a stretch and we still had quite the show a sting, uh, and, and, and Christian cage and AJ styles and Christopher Daniels and sin. She, who we know is low key and Samoa Joe and uh, Monty Brown, ton of talent here in those six. Is it not? It is. It's, uh, th this, um, yeah, this era, what was a lot of fun in my personal life, it was, uh, not fun. But in my professional life, just so many different moving parts. And, you know, as I was preparing for today and, and just sort of going through things, it's like we're going to – this fan's revenge match. When I can't wait till uh, we, we get through – get 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 down to when you say serve it up um, to tell you and, and the listeners some of the fans – that got to strap me and, and how it went down. And then, you know, uh, Kurt angle is a huge part, uh, of the end of this episode. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into first time, uh, I had been to Kurt's house as a part of the negotiation. So that, and, um, you know, there was, I've had a couple of different eras of, of my career of, of being healed that yes, believe it or not, Conrad, I was hated. Uh, but this is, um, I have to put it up there, you know, top two, three, four. I was trying to think of the different eras when as a heel, I'd say I was at my hottest. 
this is one of them. Uh, and we'll get into some details on that. So one to two hours at spike and the spike relationship. There's a lot to cover here today, pal, probably more than you realize Conrad. Well, let's, so let's talk about, uh, the September 14th edition of uh, impact Alex Shelley and Chris Saban are going to face off in a one-on-one X division match. And there's no mention of Kevin Nash. What was his status after hard justice? Kevin Nash. Um, you know, Kevin, well, I'll say like, like Steiner had to fit the budget. Um, Kevin, I mean, I can, you know, me and Kevin, again, we go way back to, I think some of our first conversations were about NBA basketball and the sitcom friends. So, I mean, yeah, I mean that we we're, we're, we're buddies outside the ring. Um, but he, he always was engaged in the product and you don't want a seven footer wrestling week in and week out, but having Kevin Nash again, as a part of the bowler plate and a part of the show, but, um, to my recollection, we didn't need him, um, and didn't want to spend the money, uh, candidly, you know, for leading up to this again, September pay-per-view, it's going to not the numbers just by, by design, the month that it airs it is not a great month. Kids are back at school and summer's closing and all that. So we didn't spend the money to bring him in to the best of my recollection. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.